let's play knight f3, do something different. Let's play d4, queen d4, in honor of our FFL friend, Gata Kamsky. Um, let's do this move. I missed a fork again? Maybe I did. This is actually turning into a... What, wait, what is this? This is like I'm playing a Rouser. Or I'm playing some opening down a tempo, I think. Let's just castle. Let's go. I think I'm playing down a tempo. Am I wrong? Yeah, I'm, I'm just down one tempo. Oh my god, I just blundered beef. Wait, no, I take. 92. Do chess players open when they chuckle when they open a chest T of drawers? A chest of drawers? Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> no. Let's go G4. <laughs> no. I get the reverence, but no. <laughs> Let's go knight g3, king b1 here. Maybe knight h5, maybe h4, g5. He's trying to attack. I don't care. I'm just going to go all in. If B3, I just take and go A3, I guess. Just take and go A3. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I mean, both sides are trying to attack here. F5 is my move. E5 is a move. He doesn't really have a capture. Okay, I can play E5. Actually, this might be really quite dangerous. I just missed this move. Um, it's actually really dangerous. Wait, do I have Knight H5 here? D4 is a problem. Actually... I have to go here. I don't know if this is good, but I think I have to do it because I'm going to need a square to make a checkmate with the diagonals here. I could have also maybe gone queen c3 first to line it up, but I think this is more, more, more strong, uh, more, um, more effective. They need a true Mr. Quinn for the Prime. Thank you so much, Mr. Quinn. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Who won the tour? It's still going. Are we still drinking instant Coke Fethi? Yeah, this is the last of my Coke Fethi. Thank you again to the 23,000 of you guys who are still watching. I hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening, morning, if you're in like Australia or, or New Zealand. Um, G6 is not a bad move, but I go Knight F6. Okay, so he does that. I expect that. Now, the thing here is I can play E5. I mean, I really want to go... How do I do this? I feel like I should be better somehow. I'm gonna go. Oh, he has d4. This is his idea, I guess. Can I go here? I, I see his ideas. I guess I just. I don't really want to do it, but I'll take and I'll go here. Oh, I should have gone bishop d3. I'm such an idiot. Bishop d3 was such an obvious move. He goes d4. Now I can play f5 here. I can also play knight e No, I can't play knight e5. Is bishop a3 a threat is one question. I don't really think it is that much of a threat, but it could be. I'm going to go f5. I mean, this. I might get checkmated here. Takes. Let's go check. goes there so I can check I mean I can also check the question is what's the effect of I have two checks I've rook g1 or rook g3 let's think which one is right and which one is wrong got it I mean I can throw in the check first he's got one check on a1 and that's it queen a2 king there I mean I've got to play a check um I can also make maybe a check and move my knight maybe no that's no good um Rook G1's no good. I mean, there's probably too, too dicey going for this. Which obviously check. Okay, this much I have to do. And now... Yeet. Oh, I just blundered. He has Bishop H6, which I blundered. I had to go put the other rook on g1. I think it was still losing, but I had to put the other rook on g1. Yeah, he'll see the mate. I, I just blundered this game. This was a bad game, actually. I, I probably was okay up until um, 
right here I had something. I, I, I had something better than what I did. What I did was just bad. Wait, I have King H5. Wait, he's getting mated again. Wait. Oh, he's getting mated. He blundered. He's getting... Oh, my gosh. He... <laughs> oh, my gosh. This guy... He... Oh, oh, oh. If this is not the most beautiful game you've ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. And this is why you watch chess, by the way. That's unbelievable. I'll show you guys again after the game. I'll show you guys. So, yeah. You guys want to ask about this game. Um, let's actually... I'm kind of curious. What's the eval? It's bad... It's really bad, okay. Okay. Right, so, okay, so th this one. So check in here. And now there, there are a couple things that win easily. Thank you to Halibu for the Prime. Thank you to Rusted Jimmy's for the tier one as well. Um, so the first way that black can win, and I saw this during the game, is black can go bishop to here. So the main thing is white is trying to create a checkmate on both of these two squares because you, you have two forces lined up. So the queen is going to go to one of these two squares and checkmate the king in the corner. But the thing is black can play bishop to h6 here. And after queen takes bishop, I'm still threatening checkmate. But it's important. There's no checkmate at the back you take. So I take to create the checkmate still. But now black goes rook a1, king takes, queen a5, king b1, and now queen takes f5. And this is actually a forced checkmate. Because if I go here, the pawn holds the juicer, and this is checkmate. The king can't go anywhere. And if I move the king over, you go check with the rook, and the queen holds the square, and um, that's GG's as well. So bishop h6 would have been winning. Instead, he checks, and he still has it, by the way. Bishop h6 is still winning here, because in this position, if I move the queen, you see, just away. Now he goes queen here. The pawn holds the juicer. And my king can't run because the pawn covers this one and the bishop from distance covers the c1 square so he goes check and this is all just winning of course check check hit the king hit the rook yeah now he makes a check and this position is winning here and there are a couple ways black can win one of the obvious ways to win is right now you see there's no checkmate on this end square because my king is sort of in the way of the rook so an obvious way to win this would be to go rook here Pinning the rook, of course, if I go check, he just takes. The king is in front of the rook, so it doesn't work. And if I move my king, now you just trade the rooks. And you can even, I don't know, you can push the pawn here. Because look at this, there's no checkmate. I have a lone queen. There's no checkmate on g7 because the bishop holds the square. So at this point, um, it's just winning because you can never checkmate with just a lone queen. You need like a pawn or you need a king or other forces in the game. So this would be the easiest way. But instead, he plays rook e4. And now after king h5, the eval bar, as you see, goes burr. Um, because now he reconnects the rook and the queen. And again, the same threat as 20 moves earlier still exists with queen g7 or queen to g8, and you win um, You win pretty much by force. So that's why, yeah. So this is just a force check, and there's no way to stop it. I'm threatening mate here. You can't really stop it without sacking a queen. If you go rook g4, I actually just take with the rook, and I'm, my king is as snug as a bug in a rug here. Um, there's no way to get at the king. It's, it's, it's guarded by all these pieces right around it. And um, I still just make the checkmate, and there are no checks. For, I mean, you could take h4, but there are no checks. So um, it's just winning. So yeah, the king is very actually very comfortable and very safe, even though it looks very weird. Like, I mean, if we look at how far, how far, the king got a lot of exercise in this game. Like, what happened? Let's see, I played, how many king's moves did I have? We had, okay, this was number one. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four. This is number five. This is number six. This is number seven. This is number eight. This is number nine. This is number 10. This is number 11. This is number 12. This is number 13. So literally one, one, two, three, four, up, 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 up. And um, so yeah, the king gets a lot of exercise and it's a forced checkmate um, on g8 here. So yeah, this is a forced, 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 forced uh, checkmate at this point. King needs pull-ups, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the king literally just walked all the way over the board. It ran out of steam, but it, it, it got where it needed to get so it was safe and then I just make the checkmate. Um, king didn't skip leg day, exactly, so.